We cannot wait to bring out our next guest. You fell in love with her in rom-coms like Serendipity and action films like Underworld. Well, now she's starring in a new drama called Farming. Mm. Give it up for Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> What you're wearing. Yeah. Well, well, welcome, welcome to the show. Yes. By the way. Yeah. yes. But you, you know, and, and before this show, I want to say you're always busy with a lot of great projects, mm -hmm. just like this film. But you're also dealing with something that a lot of parents can relate to <laughs> when your your kid is off at college, yes. and you, you you post it on Instagram. You have an interesting way of coping. Um, now that your daughter's at school. <laughs> and what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I just have, I'm just having a little sniff of one of her socks while she's away. <laughs> of course. The socks. Yeah. I, I, actually, I mainly did that to embarrass her. I said, if, <laughs> if you leave home, just know I'm going to be going through your underwear drawer, just huffing everything <laughs> while you're gone. I won't be going out. I won't have a life. I'm just going to be smelling your underpants and your socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, really. I just did it for that. But, but it, it seems we can see there, you two have a great relationship. Mm. Yeah. The, does she does she um, check in with you? Does no, she keep never you in heard check? from her again. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, does she check in with you and does she keep you in check? Oh yeah, I'm terrified of her. What do you mean? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's like if I was ever, I was on a, a talk show the other night and they were like, hey, how do you feel about rapping Hamilton? I was like, well, she'd never, she'd never speak to me again. I'd be done. I mean, that'd be over. Mm -hmm. So no, I'd be, I'd try and behave myself as much as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. Well, we'll yeah. keep it safe yeah. and talk about the new movie, which is what an amazing <laughs> yeah. story oh, for me. And it's based on something that was really happening in the 60s and 70s, Nigerian families farming out their kids yeah. to white British citizens. Tell us more about yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people in the UK didn't know about this at the time, mm. so it's, it's great to be telling the story. I guess there was some Nigerian families would give their children to these sort of white working class families slightly outside of London, thinking they would have a, you know, a better chance at that mm. thing. And actually, it was not very tolerant areas that they were sending these these children to who mm. who's most of the time you know they were the only black people anyone had seen in that mm. in that area and so my character is actually the writer and director Adewali's it's his real life story and so I'm playing oh, his wow. foster mother so I had you know eight or nine little kids yeah. um, little Nigerian kids and he, he's obviously the, he was the main one that the story focuses on but he got into you know like hating himself and his color and mm. feeling just awful and then ended up joining this very racist skin again and becoming the leader of it and and just wow. so insane that you just kind of can't believe that this happened and then has just become the most educated involved fantastic human ever mm. so the story is hard it's a really yeah. difficult story it's but it's a true yeah. story and it just it does have this wonderful redemptive and, we, and, we'll, and thank you we want to play a clip of that that illustrates what you said um, you being the foster mom of the main character and this clip is when he is running into a little bit of trouble okay okay and he is a promising student. He's done well in his tests. He can handle himself. I know what it feels like to hate what you are. I know that feeling, Mrs. Carpenter. And if we don't do something to help him, it will be a tragic waste. Oh, and we listen, will regret you. I can take care of my own kids. Oh, I love this. Find some other charity, Kate. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Your character has a tough side, but we know behind the scenes. You were being mother, very motherly with... With nine the, children. I know, yeah. exactly. Yeah. My worst nightmare. Yeah, exactly. Imagine how awful that could be. And it, and it wasn't. It was lovely. They were all just heaven. Mm -hmm. um, but they only ever met me like that. So I had quite physically you know, differences from the character. So I had these sort of pretend boobs made of lentils and sort of great big bottom piece and all this <laughs> wig and eye bags and all this stuff. So they only knew me like that. So when we finished the movie, they had absolutely no idea who I was. That is the, <laughs> that is the most gentle way I've ever heard it put, <laughs> bottom, bottom piece. <laughs> okay, <all right. laughs> I love it. And, and, and we, we want to thank you. I mean, this is, like you said, is a Very resonating story film. with great redemptive quality, but it's a true story, yeah. something that needs to be seen and understood. And Kate, thank you so much for being here. Always yeah. appreciate it. And the movie, Farming, it is in theaters and also on demand on Friday. Make sure you go out and check out Kate Beckinsale, everybody. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.